Hello everybody, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install Controllerify so you can use a controller for Minecraft Java. So, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here all you wanna do is go to your search bar and search up mod Renfexo and just enter. Here you'll find modern.com, just click on modern and then you'll be on the modern homepage. From there all you want to do is go to discover content on the top of the website and then you have to go down to mods. Then all you want to do is go to search mods and you'll just search up controllerify. So controllerify and once you've found controllerify here just click the mods name and you'll be on this page. So all you want to do is go to versions. And then here, all you want to do is go to game versions and you want to choose a version of Minecraft that you want to play. I'm just going to select the latest one here. And here, you want to select a platform and choose Fabric. We'll be using Fabric for today's tutorial. And now you have all the files that you need. So here, just make sure it is your version and Fabric and then click the green download button. Now, all you want to do is click the mod's version name and then you want to go ahead and scroll down and then you'll find dependencies here Fabric API and yet another config lib so just click on Fabric API then all you want to do is go to versions then here you want to go to game versions and then you want to choose your Minecraft version that you chose for control file then just click the green download button now you want to go back to the control file dependencies page by going to the left arrow and here you want to go to yet another config lib then you want to go to versions and then you want to go to game versions and choose the same version you did for fabric api and controllerify and here just make sure this for fabric and your version and click the green download button and now you're done with modwinf so here all you want to do is get yourself fabric to use these mods and to get fabric you want to go to another tab then you want to go ahead and search up in your search bar Fabric Minecraft and here you'll find FabricMC.net just click on Fabric and then you'll be on this page here which is the Fabric homepage from there all you want to do is click the blue download button and then you want to click the blue download for Windows button and you now have Fabric as well so Fabric Installer, yet another config lib, Fabric API and Control 5 so from there all you want to do is go ahead and close or minimize your web browser then you want to go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. From there, all you want to do is double click the fabric installer and it will show up with this little window here. With the Minecraft version, just choose the Minecraft version which, which matches with these three mods here. And I'll just do install. Okay, and close. And now all you want to do is go to the Minecraft launcher. And with the Minecraft launcher, you'll be able to make sure that you have fabric and then you'll be able to add the three mods to the mods folder. So here we have fabric loader, this means we can use mods. And to do this you want to go to installations here on the top. Then you want to go ahead and hover over fabric loader and go to the folder icon. From there all you want to do is find mods somewhere. Then double click the folder and once you're in mods go to downloads. Then select and copy the three mods. Then go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder and click paste. And now have three mods in the .minecraft mods directory. So here all you want to do is once you have this layout go back to the minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure fabric loader is selected and click play. And now you have to wait for minecraft to open up. Okay, so once you have minecraft here it will ask you to download controllerify native library and all you want to do is just do yes. And this just downloads everything you need and there you go. So once you're done with this, what you want to do is two things. Number one, connect your controller. Now I don't have a controller but it's really easy basically. If you have a USB controller, just connect it to your computer. And if you can go ahead and control the movement of the apps being chosen or just control the different movement of the actual controller's cursor here. But you won't be seeing any cursor, you'll just be seeing the actual movements. This means that your controller is connected. If you have a wireless controller, all you want to do is go to your Wi-Fi or Ethernet settings. Here you want to go 
to settings and from there all you want to do is go to bluetooth and devices and here you want to do add a device and here you'll find bluetooth so here we can just go ahead and click on bluetooth here and here you'll be able to go ahead and activate bluetooth again i don't have bluetooth activated here but you just go on bluetooth and add it using bluetooth or if you have a different method you also have this one as well but this is really specific with the actual adapter if you have an xbox control with this adapter you can choose this as well but you can choose these settings and get your wireless controller to connect to your computer once you are able to control the movement of the cursor it's like the app selection and everything you can go to a single player world a server or a realm i'll just go to a single player world and then you can go ahead and go to the controller settings so basically once you're in a world here you'll be able to go ahead and go to escape and you'll be able to go to options then you can go to controls and then here you'll see controller settings and from there you will see that you're going to have your controller here show up here or a controller schematic at least and you'll be able to go ahead and change the actual key binds and everything if you want here you have global settings which is specific things of control file and everything if you want to go ahead and mess up that as well so yeah just keep this page in mind if you need to control minecraft using a controller with custom settings but in most cases you can also just simply just use it directly once your computer detects a controller connected to it so yeah in today's video i showed you how to download and install controller 5 for minecraft java so if you like today's video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one bye